get to see the other side of players, something that you might not see at the rink all the time, and everybody was out, the festive spirit. <laughs> you have the families come down to jump on the ice together as a group. It's important for all of us to certainly see that with the holiday party. All the guys kind of playing with all the kids out there. It's great. for you. Yeah! To see guys in a different element as, you know, being fathers and, and husbands and those kind of those kind of roles, it's, uh, it's definitely a special thing. That's my that's my type of hat. That's your kid. Get away from my wife with that. Get away from my wife with that. A single NHL season, if taken full advantage of, can span the course of all four seasons. And in hockey, just as in nature, there are many storms to weather. This Christmas presented Pittsburgh with a juggling act, a lineup in constant flux due to injury. It also brought forward Zach Sill his best gift yet, life in the NHL. Zach Sill is a heart and soul guy, a guy who's fought his way up free agent, coming out of junior as an overage, and been in Wilkes-Barre for second and third seasons. He's kind of been a journeyman for him to get his first chance to come up and then to get a chance to play regularly. He's certainly contributed to our team in big ways. Let's go, let's go, come on, Vox! Go, Cheese, get out, baby! Right there! Come on, Cheese! Had him in the backhand trap, Bernier flopping on the ice, and the Penguins able to keep control of the puck. Shot by Gutierrez, and Gutierrez! Yeah! <laughs> what a shit! What a boy, Cheese! Boy, do more! Nice break, yo, board, eh? Nice break, yo, baby! Right, love that. Nice play there, board. Oh, sick play. Nice break, up, board. I don't see one like that every day. Hit him, hit him, hit him, light him up, light him up. Yeah, nice hit. That's solid. Juice. That's solid. You head up, big boy. Head up, boy, Dion. Coming in your corner, three. Every time. I'm gonna run you. I'm just waiting for my shift. He's a guy who adds energy and physicality to our lineup. A little bit of craziness. He was in the year of enough for a lot of that game. Good job, three! Best player, three! We better hope you play against them all night. I know, I know. Just waiting for my shift, three! <laughs> Dion's gonna kill me. <laughs> He's one of those guys that motivates other guys on the bench. He plays so hard and creates energy. It's been great to have him here. He's tough as nails. Great team guy, great to have in the locker room. Oh boy, Bart! Troy Bode is 6'5", 226. Bortuzzo down into the wall, and Bortuzzo went right after Bode. Hey, the boy, Bode! Yeah! I left! I love it! Old Bort switches to the left there. Love it. It was an exciting game to play, pretty physical, and there's a couple fights that game, and a couple big hits. Those are the kind of games that they like to play in. Hey, watch your stick there, bud. We'll take another whack at him there. Oh, I'm not doing it if you do. Hey, that's it. I'm here. Okay. Don't. Ah. Hey. No, it's like my eight. Hey, that'll go, yeah? You didn't take that extra whack at him, right? Flashed him. Tender what? Go for tender, bud. Hey. All right. Strong. I'm going him. You're too big. I don't think people really realize how we talk on the ice. You know, you can kind of casually ask somebody if they want to fight. It's not really something that you, uh, that you see every day. But he challenged me, so I answered the bell. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Now Sill and Bodie, I believe. Yep. Sill wades in against Bodie, who's much taller, longer reach than Sill. He throws a couple of right hands at him. Trying to hold him at bay here. Another long right. Off goes the helmet. Down goes Bodie and Sill with that strength comes back up with a couple of left hands. Now some less from Bodie. Sill's got a good grip on him. No, 
now the baby penguins are winning the hearts of penguins fans here at Gonzalo Energy Center. Another right hand by Sill. And a left to down to go. Good fight, John Big Boy. Great. Thanks, brother. Called me out. Called me out. Asked me if I was pretender. It's us, it's us, it's us! McLaren asked me to go I was like, I'm gonna take the lesser of the two here. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I got another one in me, Dion, if you wanna go! Come on, Jose, let's grind this one out here, eh? Let's get a big, dirty win. Sid's gonna score now. Oh my god, come on, yes! What a pistol! Crosby shoots it, score! Good job tonight, boys. Really dug in there. Good goal by Sid there. Great fight, seller. He was a great fight, seller. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, boys. Uh, <laughs> Sussie's line way to start us off. That was a great start. But uh, let's just keep finding ways here. Keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. The Penguins found themselves in New York a week prior to Christmas with a 10-game lead in the division. And for the second straight game, half of the regulars were missing from the lineup. With that lineup in Madison Square Garden, it was it's almost like uh, an introduction to the greatest stage on earth for a lot of those guys. Get us to a shootout. Usually we have tough guys to pick from. Brandon had that great backhand goal earlier in the game. He got the opportunity to finish the game off. The Penguins have won 10 of their last 11. A dozen guys they'd like to have weren't available, but the ones that were there got the extra point. Boy, gutsy effort. Good guys, take the game again there. Good um, guys, put ball again, so awesome job. Keep going. It just shows how much depth we have. You know, guys stepped in, they played really well, and to get those wins when we were so short-handed brings the guys together. Minnesota Wild, try to play a quick game, try to play a fast game. Try to play an offensive zone game. How do we want to play it, James? Fast. That's your mindset. You got to get things in your game right now that's going to key us to play well. I'm going to shoot the puck. There's one. One? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to stay in control. That's a great one. <laughs> Suspended winger James Neal was eligible to return to game action, but hockey players are nothing if not superstitious. So, despite the depleted roster, a sarcastic warning was still given for altering a lineup in the midst of a winning streak. Duper the Reef. Yep. Coming back from a five-game suspension. Wow. Don't f it up for us tonight. Yeah. Oh. James Neal wasn't the only one the Penguins welcomed back. Matt Cook was up to his old tricks, but he wasn't able to slow up his old team. That yeah, Minnesota game was one of the most fun victories I've had since I've been here. I mean, we looked at the Minnesota lineup for the game, like, wow, we got our hands full tonight. And to come out and not only win that game, but I thought we pretty much carried the play. In the locker room after, it was a great setting. And seeing the young energy from the guys who got called up and just pulling off a win like that at home was a pretty special thing. Great win, boys. Great Zach Off, great job stepping in, doing well. Taylor, great fight. Great win, boys. Here we go, here we go. Bert's, uh, he's one of those guys where he happy-go-lucky guy, he's just he's so down to earth. Some of the things he does and says out there, it just, it's hard to believe it's him. I don't need a lot this Christmas. He's got a little bit of energy, abrasiveness to his game, a little bit of lip in his game. But then he puts his helmet on, he's like a different human being out there. And throw it, hit. Like that. Uh, he plays with that edge every night. Hey, guys, you go left. Oh. oh my god. It was in the penalty box, so I had a great view of it. He doesn't really bring out a slap shot very often, but uh, that was a heck of a shot and that got the whole team going. He just danced around the cavalry playing defender. Oh my god. Oh, there's that good again. Every game you see something from them, so it's not out of the ordinary. Nick said to be Might be. It's hard to tell. How does he do that? He's almost can't even blame the D there. Tough one, brother. 
one of those players you, you love to have on your team. Good dude! Yeah, boys! Christmas holiday is always a time you look at the calendar and you circle those games, the last game before the break. I really looked at that game as one we had to buckle down and focus on. On to Crosby, bolts into the sends in, trying to go around the defenseman, got knocked down, and off his skates he goes. And now, we've got another player in behind the net. Pascal Dupuis favoring his right leg. Man alive, you hold your breath when you see stuff like this, Mike. I think with Duper's injury, things kind of went downhill from there. I think that kind of carried into our play the rest of the two periods. Rebound score right in front, Zach Smith. Uh, I think you kind of maybe ran out of gas a little bit in that last game. It was a tough loss going into the break. It got away from us. We had that seven game win streak, wanted it to get to eight. Another streak concluded as well. Pascal Dupuy had played 266 consecutive games. A torn ACL put an end to his season. Pascal's looking at next year, not looking at coming back sometime this year. Three days off is a lot of days off for a hockey player, and there's a lot of festivities, there's a lot of food, and then getting back in the 27th, that's one you always look to. The Penguins invested in some R&R &R over the Christmas break, and they saw immediate returns. It's a great thing when you are winning with a lot of young guys, but it's always great to see a lot of old faces coming back. Rob Skeeter gets back in, been away from the game, missed his timing. You go through that when you get these guys back, and it's no different with a Tanner Glass. Tanner's a huge part of our team. Having those two guys back on the road trip was pretty incredible. Last guy's coming back after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Always a pleasure to get the rock and be dashed, too. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, look forward to giving this with our injuries, with our different rosters, with the call-ups, we've had guys step in and play great roles. Joy V's been one of those guys. I think just to fill in wherever you're called upon and just for me to continue to do what I do best and just play fast. Joe Vitale was fast becoming one of the Penguins' most versatile forwards. But the most versatile player normally resides on defense. Derek England is a guy who we've put in at the forward position. Just gotta have the mindset, to see what you're playing, and get ready for that. Whatever I can do to contribute to the team and win games, I'm there to do. Adapting to a new role can be a hockey player's most coveted asset. That flexibility was never more evident than with Taylor Pyatt. One day he was on the Rangers, the next he was playing against them. He adds a lot of size to our lineup. He's still getting acquainted to our colors. He's still getting acquainted to playing with the Penguins and how we play. He just brings that veteran presence and he's gonna help us win some games, that's for sure. And to think that the first game is against a team that just sent you down is even crazier. Towards the net stop, rebound in front, there's Conan. He puts it in. Hey, if we get it set up, we'll have all the time. We're just sitting there. Once we break the pressure, they just sit there. Time, time! Leave it to Ryan Gibbons on in front. A quick shot by Jokic and he scored. The recipient of a great pass by Gibbons. I can't believe that worked. Gibbons driving hard to the Rangers end, put it left side. Already Jokic and he puts it in. Holy cheese and crackers! You see Jokic is on fire. Yeah, great chip. I almost skated right by it. I was so excited. Oh my god, you a great little dish. <laughs> Here's Derek Angle and coming to center. Derek Angle. <laughs> nice hit. <laughs> Man, watch the replay on this. That was one of the more complete games we played all year, I thought. We wanted to get Taylor his first win against his old club. The wins for the home club kept coming. The Penguins had won 11 straight in Pittsburgh. It's a good run. Hopefully we keep it going. Being at home, you got the crowd behind you and definitely feeds off them. Whether it's the home cooking or whether it's the water or the building, Marc-Andre Fleury has been a mainstay in the pipes at home. And guys just get jacked up to play at home and, and we managed to, you know, pull out wins. Even when things get a little hairy there sometimes at the end of the games, we kind of never lose sight of it. I think that Winnipeg game was a perfect example of that. Every time we got up, they came back, or they, they went up, we came back. And there was no panic on the bench. It's just kind of a general feeling that, you know, hey, we're going to find a way to win this game. The first road trip of 2014 sent Pittsburgh to the Great White North. A three-game swing in Western Canada would bring media demands, unveil Olympic fates, and provide plenty of time for some friendly competition. Oh, 
follow me. Are you gonna revive those guys? Where are you going? Where are you going? You have to find them. I know. I'm waiting. Hey, hey. That was the dumbest move you could have made in your whole life. <laughs> you were next to the bomb. You were next to the bomb. Tissue was at your bomb site and you start to go back. Not the way, boys. Not the way. We're like, how dumb is he not planning this bomb right now? We could use some luck right now, so I'll take it. He's, he's by far the way. Great by Sidney Crosby. Nice hit. Congrats. The Penguins landed in Vancouver roughly six hours after leaving Pittsburgh. Less than 24 hours later, all Olympic rosters would be revealed. And while there was little suspense surrounding Sidney Crosby, receiving the news in Vancouver was fitting nonetheless. The last time he played there, he scored the golden goal. The crowds around Sid and Cooney and the guys that all got named to the Olympic teams have been big. Being in Vancouver is obviously pretty crazy as it is. The Olympic announcements made it even crazier. I wouldn't want to be Sid sometimes, that's for sure, all the cameras in his face, but it's pretty exciting. Sid, is it easier to sleep when you're the golden goal scorer? Our game, our attitude, and our mindset, how we're going to play our game. Commitment to playing defense against these guys, commitment to playing our way. All right, that's a 20-man job. Put it on the cage! 71, 71! Neil Gino shoots it, scores! NF shoots it through traffic, he scores! Back in shot, he scores! Beauty. We gave up the lead, we come storming him back. 87 here, 87! Throw it in front of bouncing buck, back into the way, Crosby puts it in! Crosby scores with 54.2 seconds to go! Walks in, Chris Hurdy scores, he beats back! And Dan Bilesman is now officially the winningest coach in the history of the Pittsburgh Penguins franchise, his 233rd win. We've got a special presentation, franchise record and wins for coach here, so... He knows the game, he's played the game 10 years in the National Hockey League. He knows what it takes to win. To have a guy like Danny break my record, I think it's perfect for me. Eddie Johnston has uh, meant so much to the organization. He's been a part of overseeing and mentoring us as coaches. And to pass him and have my name be at the top there, it's certainly meaningful and one I won't forget. The second stop on the tour of Western Canada was in Edmonton, where Rob Scuderi took in the sights. Well, that's a shootout, so today's venture was going up to the nosebleed section and touch one of the signs that coach picked out. You gotta pay the piper. Losing a shootout may have been expected for the veteran defenseman. Losing to the team with the fewest points in the Western Conference, however, wasn't on the itinerary. Go! Shot that shot! Go, go, you got it! Yakupov to the goal, Zetkov makes the save and the puck is swept out of danger with a glove of Rob Skidari. That was a scary shift. Off to the Malkin, Malkin for Neal, a shot, he scores! Let's play, Gino. Good shot. Good shot, Gino. Rob, John. Yeah, no, I did great. The Penguins were doing what was expected, but a two-goal lead in the third period started to dwindle. Go to Joe V. Why are you going to do that? This is Taylor Hall going the other way for Gagne. Gagne dangles for Nugent Hopkins. His shot hard and scores! What the hell happened to Boone? Make the simple play, boys. It's a pass it. He shoots it. He scores! Yeah! Right off the hey. draw. Thank you very much. Get up together now, boys. Everybody together, White. All together here. Group of five, up the ice. Everything north. Hemsky with a puck. Sends it out now to Anton Belov. Look out, a wrist shot, score. Oh, just get it over, Tenzat. Come on, baby. Here we go, boys. Come on. A 
save made by Zakhoff. It thumped off his pad. The Bengals didn't get it out. Here's Everly across. They score. Here's your Marcus. The silhouette of a season has many fine lines. The margin of error is so slight it's hard to define. But there in the shadow lies the beauty of hockey. The next game. Sid to the cage. No passing off skates tonight. Right to the back of the net. You're shooting. This team will work. They will come hard. They are a physical bunch. Give them nothing here, James. Sutsy, Hadsy, let's go. That's us! That's us! Get there! Get there! A big hit, yep, by Zach Sell in the corner. Tortuzo, near side of Kunitz. Kunitz closing in, shoots it, he scores! Second period changes. Manage the puck the right way here, keep going forward. Cooney, that was a great shot here. Only play has a short side. <laughs> I've never shot there before, I'm as much as back for a shooting angle. He fires it, and a score! It goes in! I don't know if it hit Anglin or it hit a flame, but a trickle past Red O'Bara. And the final score, Pittsburgh 2 and Calgary 1. Good finish to a uh, questionable play by us on the road trip. Be better at home. 5-6. Five 5-6. Six. Five six. The Penguins were returning home, having earned points in each of their three games in Western Canada but they didn't escape entirely unscathed. Don't be afraid to yell time if you can, Zets. Yeah, I was yelling wheel. Yeah, I heard you. You want me to say time there instead of wheel? Sometimes easier, because when you say time, I know that at least nobody's, the guys are behind me. I just want to know if there's someone in front of me. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you say wheel, it makes us think that we got the guys behind us, people. We don't know what's coming down the other way. <laughs> 